running sand. Lo, we have sent unto you a messenger as witness against you, even as we sent unto Pharaoh a messenger. But Pharaoh rebelled against the messenger, whereupon we seized him with no gentle grip. Then how, if ye disbelieve, will ye protect yourselves upon the day which will turn children gray? The very heaven being then rent asunder, his promise is to be fulfilled. Lo, this is a reminder, let him who will then choose a way unto his Lord. Lo, thy Lord knoweth how thou keepest vigil sometimes nearly two-thirds of the night, or sometimes half or a third thereof, as do a party of those with thee. Allah measureth the night and the day, he knoweth that ye count it not, and turneth unto you in mercy. Recite then of the Qur'an that which is easy for you. He knoweth that there are sick folk among you, while others travel in the land in search of Allah's bounty, and others still are fighting for the cause of Allah. So recite of it that which is easy for you, and establish worship, and pay the poor due, and so lend unto Allah a goodly loan. Whatsoever good ye send before you for your souls, ye will surely find it with Allah better and greater in the recompense, and seek forgiveness of Allah. Lo, Allah is forgiving, merciful. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. O thou enveloped in thy cloak, arise and warn, thy Lord magnify, thy raiment purify, pollution shun. And show not favor seeking worldly gain. For the sake of thy Lord be patient. For when the trumpet shall sound, surely that day will be a day of anguish, not of ease for disbelievers. Leave me to deal with him whom I created lonely, and then bestowed upon him ample means, and sons abiding in his presence, and made life smooth for him. Yet he desireth that I should give more. Nay, for lo, he hath been stubborn to our revelations. On him I shall impose a fearful doom. For lo, he did consider, then he planned. Self-destroyed is he, how he planned. Again, self-destroyed is he, how he planned. Then looked he... Then frowned he and showed displeasure. Then turned he away in pride and said, This is naught else than magic from of old. This is naught else than speech of mortal man. Him shall I fling unto the burning. Ah, what will convey unto thee what that burning is? It leaveth naught, it spareth naught. It shriveleth the man. Above it are nineteen. We have appointed only angels to be wardens of the fire, and their number have we made to be a stumbling block for those who disbelieve, that those to whom the scripture hath been given may have certainty, and that believers may increase in faith, and that those to whom the scripture hath been given and believers may not doubt, and that those in whose hearts there is disease and disbelievers may say, What meaneth Allah by this similitude? Thus Allah sendeth astray whom he will, and whom he will he guideth. None knoweth the hosts of thy Lord save him. This is naught else than a reminder unto mortals. Nay, by the moon, and the night when it withdraweth, and the dawn when it shineth forth, Lo, this is one of the greatest portents. There's a warning unto men, unto him of you who will advance or hang back. Every soul is a pledge for its own deeds, save those who will stand on the right hand. In gardens they will ask one another, concerning the guilty, what hath brought you to this burning? They will answer, we were not of those who prayed. Nor did we feed the wretched. We used to wade in vain dispute with all waders, 
and we used to deny the day of judgment till the inevitable came unto us. The mediation of no mediators will avail them then. Why now turn they away from the admonishment as they were frightened asses fleeing from a lion? Nay, but every one of them desireth that he should be given open pages from Allah. Nay, verily, they fear not the hereafter. Nay, verily, lo, this is an admonishment. So whosoever will may heed. And they will not heed unless Allah willeth it. He is the fount of fear. He is the fount of mercy. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. Nay, I swear by the day of resurrection, Nay, I swear by the accusing soul that this scripture is true. Thinketh man that we shall not assemble his bones? Yea, verily, yea, we are able to restore his very fingers. But man would fain deny what is before him. He asketh, when will be this day of resurrection? But when sight is confounded, and the moon is eclipsed, and sun and moon are united... On that day man will cry, Whither to flee? Alas, no refuge. Unto thy Lord is the recourse that day. On the day man is told the tale of that which he hath sent before and left behind. Oh, but man is a telling witness against himself. Although he tender his excuses, stir not thy tongue herewith to hasten it. Lo, upon us resteth the putting together thereof, and the reading thereof. And when we read it, follow thou the reading. Then, lo, upon us resteth the explanation thereof. Nay, but ye do love the fleeting now, and neglect the hereafter. That day will faces be resplendent, looking toward their Lord. And that day will other faces be despondent. Thou wilt know that some great disaster is about to fall on them. Nay, but when the life cometh up to the throat, and men say, Wherein the wizard who can save him now? And he knoweth that it is the parting, and agony is heaped on agony. Unto thy Lord that day will be the driving. For he neither trusted nor prayed, but he denied and flouted. Then went he to his folk with glee, nearer unto thee and nearer, again nearer unto thee and nearer is the doom. Thinketh man that he is to be left aimless? Was he not a drop of fluid which gushed forth? Then he became a clot 